Hello, what we see now on screen is about uh, compound nouns. A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. It's not one word but more than one. The combination of the noun plus noun or adjective with noun or other part of speech with noun. The combinations will create compound noun. It is important that you need to recognize to understand how to form the compound nouns at the same time you know the position in the sentences and each compound noun acts as a single unit so a compound noun as a subject compound nouns as a object compound noun as a complement and compound nouns can be modified by adjectives or other nouns there are three forms that you can know when compound nouns are created the first one is opened or space here space between words so one word and the other one is separated with a space and the second one is the hyphenated or hyphened between words like the six pack there's hyphen here and number three the third one is the close or solid here no space or no hyphen between words like bedroom so the word bed and the word uh, room are combined without any space or any hyphen The next one, the combinations of part of speech. At number one is noun plus noun. And we know it is a bus stop. In the sentence, is this the bus stop for the number 12 bus? The bus stop here is compound noun and the function in the sentence as the subject. Another one is like adjective plus noun like a full moon here with a space it's not combined it's not solid one or no hyphen i always feel crazy at full moon here at full moon as the complement the next one is verb plus noun like a breakfast break here is a verb and first is a noun so breakfast this combination, a solid form of the compound noun. We always eat breakfast at 8 a.m. And here breakfast is the object. Noun plus verb. Uh, sun, rice. Sun is a noun. Rice is a verb. Here no hyphen, no space. I like to get up at sunrise. At sunrise is complement to so the time. The next one is the combination of verb plus preposition. I check out here with the hyphen. Check is the verb and out is the preposition. Please remember that check out is at 12 noon. Here, check out is the subject of the clause that. The next one with the noun plus prepositional phrase mother-in-law there are three words here with the hyphen my mother-in-law lives with us here the position of mother-in-law as the subject of the sentence the next one is the preposition plus noun underworld here is under is the preposition and world is the noun. Do you think the police accept money from the underworld? So here, from the underworld here is the complement of the sentence. The next one is adjective plus verb, like dry cleaning. Dry is adjective and cleaning is the verb. My dry cleaning should be ready this afternoon. 
the dry cleaning here is with hyphen and the function here is the subject of the sentence. How to make the plural forms of compound nouns? When it is just one word like table is the singular and the plural form is tables. So in general, the plural of compound noun by adding s. Remember, s is to the base word. What is the base word? The most significant word. What is the main? What is the essence? What is the head of the compound noun? Look at now the example. A tennis shoe. Here, tennis is a noun. Shoe also noun. But it is not about tennis, but it is about shoes. So, three shoes which are used for tennis. So, three tennis shoes. One one assistant headmaster you change now here it's not about assistant but it is about headmaster so five assistant headmasters see right the next one is the surgeon major not majors but surgeons major be careful of knowing that it is not about the major but it is about the surgeons. A mother-in-law. When you make it here, not laws, but mothers. Because mother is the base word. Mother is the significant word. An assistant secretary of state. Three assistant secretaries. It is secretaries, not the states. So don't use S here, but here. My toothbrush, you know tooth is singular and the plural of tooth is teeth. But here, not with teeth brush, but toothbrushes. But it is about brushes, not about the tooth. And then a woman doctor here with both. Both women change into women and doctor into doctors. Here, change of the plural into two forms. A doctor of philosophy, two doctors of philosophy. A passer by, two passers here, see, passers, not buys here, passers by, or you make it here, passers with a hyphen by. There are many still other kinds of compound nouns, but what is the essence here? You know the head of the noun and you know the significant word that you can use to create the noun.